Notion's biggest pro is the flexibility of what you can do, but that's also its biggest con. In this video, I'm going to give you 5 tips to help you get started, but also help you get something done rather than just spending hours building stuff in Notion. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. The first tip I can give you is know what you're going to use Notion for. You could use it as a habit tracker, as a calendar, for task management, for project management. There are so many different use cases for Notion that to start with all you really need to do is just work out what you're going to use it for. I personally would just recreate the workflow you're currently using in Notion and go from there. The second tip relates to the first tip, knowing what you're going to use Notion for, you also need to know the restrictions of the app. If for example you're going on holiday and you're going to put all of your plans into Notion but you don't have access to the internet, then you need to look at the offline mode for Notion and how that functions. Another example is if you like writing handwritten notes on your iPad and you want to put that into Notion, you can't natively draw in Notion, so you would have to find another workaround, whether that's using an image or something else. Another example of a common limitation of Notion is there's no local storage. So if the internet was to go down or you lose access to the internet, you may lose access to some of the information you may need. Notion is an amazing app and it does give you lots of different possibilities, but it can't do everything. The third tip relates to the first tip, recreate your workflow. Just because you have Notion doesn't mean you need to reshape how you work. You can't reshape how you think, so make the tool, which is Notion, work for you because you are the person in charge of it. If you create something in Notion that doesn't work with the way that you think or the way that you do things, then Notion isn't going to work for you. I see some people set up set up like this and this is the way their mind works, but for me having home planning, work events and education lessons, that's all planning in my mind, so I would have them all as one page, but I know some people like to split them up because that's how their mind works, so create something that replicates your workflow. Now the fourth tip may sound a little bit obvious, but just understand the basics. You don't need to understand massive long formulas that you can put into databases to use for specific use cases, but understanding how headers, pages, databases, relations and rollups work gives you a fundamental understanding of how the app works and how you can make it work for you. The next tip kind of ties all of those tips together and use templates as a source of learning, not an answer. Knowing what you're going to use Notion for is the first step then knowing the limitations and restrictions of Notion can then tell you whether it's going to do what you want it to do. Then you want to be able to replicate your workflow in Notion by either using templates that replicate your workflow, or using templates and adjusting them with your basic understanding of how the blocks and databases work, so Notion can work for you, rather than you having to work for Notion. If you're interested to learn more about Notion, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.